here for CAA football, the blitz as we continue. And he may go to this next Terrence Webb. Let's put yourself in a situation and win a lot of football games. We begin this week's preview down in Newark, a nationally televised game between two rivals as the Delaware Blue Hens entertain the Towson Tigers in a possible playoff elimination game. It is going to be a playoff elimination game, and, and you take a look at this, this matchup. It has almost turned into a rivalry, just given Towson's recent success in Delaware always on the scene there at the end of the season. Towson, four losses already, kind of playing their way into the playoffs. They have to keep winning. Delaware has that win against Westchester, which hurt them last season in finishing 7-4. and four. So that's the kind of things that we're looking at in terms of playoffs. And Andrew Pierce being out for Delaware, how's that shape their run game? And then Towson, go back to Villanova, uh, their game Saturday, and, and what that was able to create for them in terms of momentum. I think Grant Enders played a phenomenal game player of the week honors, but uh, look for him to be more in tuned in the game plan and to start making some plays, getting Towson to that playoff push. Then at 3.30 on Comcast Sportsnet Regional Networks, it will be the nationally ranked JMU Dukes, who have really struggled the last couple of weeks, especially on the offensive end. Now have a new freshman quarterback behind center and Michael Birdsong. Visit Maine, who is coming off a win at William & Mary, and they're very dangerous at home. It is, a, it is going to be a, quite the matchup. I think you look at Michael Birdsong, what he was able to do against Georgia State, made some good plays, made some mistakes like a freshman would. I think Coach Matthews wants to see some progress out of that. He also wants to see his team play a full game. Uh, in recalling Georgia State, he thought his teams may have stopped playing once it was 28 to 7. And Georgia State is not the kind of team that's going to lay down for you. Maine is not going to be the team that's going to lay down either. Look back at last year's game, the uh, the win and, and the fashion they, that, that they did it in with the helicopter play making national headlines. Maine is going to test James Madison's defensive secondary in terms of the passing game. If they shut off strength or lengthening the field, they go to the, the dump passes and the screen passes. So how James Madison responds to that is going to be the key in this game. Now here's a look at the rest of this Saturday's lineup around CAA football.